All right, well, while we were here, news broke of Carlos Hyde being traded to, not traded, signed, signed by the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, which, I mean, I love Lamp, like we talked about uh, in, in previous Patreon episodes, and I believe at the beginning of this episode, we touched on it a little bit. Anybody who's the Chiefs or Saints running backs, I'm, I want a piece of them. And now Carlos is in there. Um, he's at age 20... Eight, uh, born in 1990, September 20th. So that would be 28. <laughs> Turning 29 as he'll, the season he'll, gets he'll going. Be 29 as the season rolls on. Um, never over a thousand yards. Couple times, really close. Um, never really 16 games to be over that thousand yards. I guess in 2017 with the Niners, he had 16 games started and was just under the threshold by 70. Um, but always a, a pretty solid touchdown scorer. Maybe not the quintessential uh, pass-catching running back, but I wouldn't say he's unavailable to catch passes. <laughs> unavailable. Um, I think he's got decent hands. It, they're okay. Uh, the, the year that he had 59 catches, he had 88 targets, and I believe he was pretty high up there in, in drop rate. So I don't think it was super great, but uh, he, he's, he's not a... He can't not catch. Like I mean, he's a, he's good enough. Um, so how do you guys see Carlos playing out on the Chiefs here? Is there a round value that you would establish here where you would go after Carlos? Are you excited about Carlos? It's a one-year deal. I think it makes him the highest-paid running back on the Chiefs currently. Um, not that it was a whole lot. It was like $1.9 million or something like that. Right. So, it, I mean, it has to make you interested in Carlos Hyde. Andy Reid is the running back guy, and... The Chiefs are the Chiefs, and it kind of not that uh, Williams is not like this. He's he's not a small running back by any means, and and Carlos is a, is a definitely a bigger guy. So I would say he's the hammer kind of running back, but it's not like he's that much bigger than Damian Williams. So I mean, do you is Carlos having a role here? Is it is Damian Williams going to be the pass catcher? Or is Carlos going to be the grinder and maybe take some goal line work away? Is there a value that you would like to establish on Carlos here early and often here? What are you thinking? I don't know how much of a value I want to establish on Carlos Hyde yet. Uh, I think if you have Carlos Hyde, you're ecstatic that he's now with the Chiefs and he's 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 a nice shiny lamp that the Chiefs have to use. I think the biggest thing for me is that it, it definitely takes away from your Damian Williams stock because you just saw them go out and sign a guy that's basically, I think, capable of doing everything Damian Williams did for them in Carlos Hyde. Uh, I think I would say a, Damian Williams is probably a better pass catcher. He's, he's probably a little bit better of a pass catcher, but I think Carlos is pretty strong, Has does have 59 receptions in a season on his, on his career, although you mentioned the drops. I think uh, I, I don't know where I would put Carlos Hyde in a startup I think uh, I think he's probably still going to get disrespected, and people people don't like Carlos Hyde for some reason. So, I think uh, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I, I'm bummed if I have Damian Williams. I'm stoked if I have Carlos Hyde. I don't know necessarily a value of now going out and uh, obtaining Carlos Hyde via trade or in a startup. I don't I don't really know. Well, I'd love to see startup this year if he's that. Um, undervalued but just because like he is a shiny new lamp on one of the best lamp stores great lamp what, store you know yeah so if uh if he's if he if damian williams Dam this is one of those situations where damian williams falls into startup draft a little bit for sure and if carlos williams doesn't come up i mean uh Hyde. carlos Hyde doesn't come up high enough then to balance that out it's just one of those things where and one, it maybe maybe they're A and B, maybe they're fifty fifty. Obviously, I think Damian Williams is a better pass catcher naturally. He's probably a little more swifter, uh, you know, getting just being a little bit more agile. Carlos is a huge man, but Carlos is a solid runner, and he's he's super smooth to be as big as he is. So for me, as Carlos as as a as a potential you know startup situation or in a trade or something like that. I would put some value on Carlos Hyde because 
It could be magical. It could absolutely be magical. That the two years ago when he caught all those passes for San Fran, yeah, it was a lot of forced it's situations because it was a horrible team and they pretty much didn't have anything else going on either. Um, but I will say, you know, just going forward, this is a similar situation to the Browns signing Carlos Hyde last year before the draft. I don't think anybody sees the um, the Chiefs investing in a running back like the Browns did that we all assumed the Browns were going to put some a, a decent draft pick into a running back. Then they got Carlos Hyde. We weren't quite sure how that would play out. We thought they would put a decent draft pick into one steal, but maybe not second pick of the second round with Nick Chubb. This is a very is a like this is the mo- this is a fantastic football move for the Chiefs. Just as signing Kareem Hunt was a fantastic football move for the Browns, now you switch it up over here for one point seven million for a year. Like that's one of the best deals in the league already for Carlos Hyde, a proven NFL running back who can do it all. He's not a all around perfect three down back, no, but he can do it all if he needs to. And if he just for Carlos Hyde, don't don't pretend like it hadn't been just stay healthy for my man for a while. And right. so if, if, if he if he comes in to, and if he's healthy on the Chiefs, it could be magical. So he's one of those guys, like if I'm in a startup and I've put together six or seven good guys and I don't know where it ends up being, but obviously a lot can change in a couple of weeks when the draft goes down. If But I don't think anybody yeah. expects the Chiefs to really plow into the draft capital into another yeah. running back with a big name. But I would be happy to throw Carlos Hyde on my team and well, see what happens. We don't know kind of how it shook down with the Browns. The Browns could have had a really high gra- high high grade on Chubb, and he just happened to stick around and f- kind of force their hand to say, hey, this guy's still around. Let's, exactly. We're taking this guy. And we've exactly. seen that the Browns are pretty willing to accept, hey, if there's some talent out there, we'll we'll scoop them up, even if, it, if the, it's not a necessarily a position of need. Which is the way you should play it. Right. The way the Eagles played their defensive line the last couple of years, and it worked out. Right. Keep them fresh. Uh, but now you have like I've been a huge Carlos Hyde fan and you know it really has been kind of stay healthy and it he went to the Jaguars in the middle of the season and it was it was weird and it didn't work out and that offensive line was banged up but well, the whole team was quit anyway but now, now you have a high octane offense and and they are definitely two stylistically different backs regardless of the size um mm-hmm. of, of the two which isn't is, I think one's 5'11 224 and the other one's six foot 230 um but carlos definitely runs with a lot more hammer to his game as i was saying you know i don't think this is going to be like the hammer to the kind of thunder to the lightning kind of deal but it really kind of could be Mm -hmm. um just getting away from their size in general but stylistically of running i think that that's more along the lines and i think carlos could easily have eight to ten touchdowns and you know, seven or 800 yards rushing here with no problem and, and still have 30 or 40 catches. Like, it's not like he's incapable of catching balls. So, I mean, all that being said, I mean, maybe that I set the bar a little too high and maybe they do. Maybe maybe somebody who the, the Chiefs had a higher round on grade, maybe he falls and they do end up drafting a running back and they got they don't have Carlos Hyde on there for they got him on there for essentially peanuts, one point seven or nine or whatever. Peanuts. So who the hell knows what's gonna happen, but it's still less more than they have Damian Williams on the books for. It's a great insurance policy. But I mean, the, you know, they, they the Chiefs could still end up taking a running back, even though they do have a lot more needs, and they seem to just cheaply just fill up any sort of need that they had running back wise with Carlos for at least a year. Mm-hmm. Um, but to me, like, I mean, if you want like early early two for Carlos, is that is that uh, too egregious right as a, now as a trade? Yeah, give away an early two for Carlos, um, especially just judging on where this kind of running back class just kind of ended up for you. I can't trade for Carlos until Debo Samuel's off the board. No, oh. I'm taking Debo in my rookie <laughs> draft in the early second round. I'm looking for Debo. So when he if he so, if he gets uh, snaked if he get, if Debo two, gets snaked in front of me then I I might that might be something I was just look I was talking about earlier I may be looking to do make a move like that but two one to to two four is that like you think you think that's too much for Carlos I think it might be it's too early today before the draft mm-hmm. I mean it's too it's, I think it's too expensive before the draft and it, it may not it may be in you may be incapable of pulling that trade off after the draft but you somebody might be sleeping and just I mean be, if you're a dog shit team then obviously you want nothing to do with that trade but if you feel like you like all right so i have a team with carlos Hyde on it and things just got way more exciting for me right 
Like, right. I mean, it, it was it was great. Hides on the Chiefs. It, it, it was great in Cleveland for a couple of games last year. Not great, but he was scoring touchdowns and doing mostly what you needed him to do. And then it, it kind of got pretty shitty once he got traded. You knew it really probably wasn't going to be super great. And, and I I said on the podcast that I didn't think that there was any way that he was going to end up at as a Jaguar next year because there's no way that they're going to pay him the salary that he had. And they, they, they signed him as an insurance policy and they let him go. Good for Carlos. I think Carlos is still a, a really, really good running back. It's not like he's a trash running back. I think he's good. Like, it's not like you can't make a, he's going to be in the elite allegiance or alliance football right. league next year. Like this, this was a, a pretty good player. And as long as he was healthy, he was one of the top half of the league running backs. He's when he's healthy, he's forcing missed tackles. Right. And he's, running over you. He's a good running back. So, and so, you know, I think that's, that's a nice piece for the, for the chiefs to pick up. And, and, a, and a, this is going to be, was the highest scoring offense and they, they tapered off heavily at the end of last year. And so I think, I think that's a, a really good situation for Carlos, a guy who has a decent nose for the end zone and can somewhat create on his own, whether it be power or a little bit of shake and, and still catch a couple of balls. So, I mean, I, I think if I'm ready to, to win a depth piece for my team, like an, an a early two and maybe not the strongest draft class ever isn't, isn't, egregious in my mind benny snell or carlos hyde because you can get benny snell there with that early two. i think you probably you're gonna end up being able to get benny snell at the end of probably the second round unless he goes somewhere great or gets drafted higher than he thought and he, and he could he certainly could i think i'll keep my early two for now yeah i mean uh, i'm i'm kind of i could go I'm, I'm on a team with hyde so i could see what i could get for him but i don't i don't think i would it's not worth moving which, where, which league you got hot uh the 12 man uh the first one like one of the first yeah. dynasties that we've ever, the yeah. 12 man the, one of the man. oldest That's running weird. dynasties we got the 12 man let me get him yeah all right I, let me get it, it makes i it got good. kareem hunt uh he's, he's suspended i got a win now team with julio and ty yeah. and those types of guys let it me, changes things up for you right, you, you got a late two though huh what do you got though what do you got? Um, I don't know. I missed the playoffs with the third most points in the league, so I, I can't be that. Two far. five. I'm maybe. at two five. Two six. What do you think about two five? I mean, I'll probably just roll with my lows because I got a team that's ready to win now too. Ah, roll with his lows. Yeah, he. But I mean, maybe maybe you sh maybe you should be selling at all costs. But I've I've been a firm believer in Carlos, and now he's in an awesome situation. So, mm -hmm. and who knows? Like you said, we don't really know how it's going to play out. But I mean, if you're ready to go now. See, I don't think a two uh, like a two five. I wouldn't be itching to sell Carlos Hyde for right. two five. That's what, what I'm saying. What is two five going to really do for right. me? Right. But if if they you make it through the draft, if I'm a trash team, it, then I'll take the two five. I'm no, no, not necessarily because if you make it through the draft, and car and the, and the Chiefs don't have anybody that really that you can hang your hat on, and Carlos you, Hyde think gets an in, in season there. more value. Oh uh, yeah, sure. I, okay, I can get Carlos down with Hyde's that. putting yeah. up points on the Chiefs. Sure. Then he could be way more valuable than two sure. five. Or he could be just riding riding pine on the Chiefs. The, but she gave up the opportunity to get the two five. Come on. And then you could probably like if, still, you, if you're holding yeah, okay. At the, okay, at, yeah, at the end of I the day, it. maybe he's riding That's pine. Fine. Maybe he's riding behind and Damian Williams is out there crushing it. So you just trade him to the Damian Williams owner for a two next year as insurance going into the playoffs. Yeah. So you know Well I, you got you just, just gotta like Andy Reid on, on Carlos, uh, the, the running back whisperer. I yeah. like Carlos Lamp. Right. Yeah. Call yeah. lamp hot it is. If it's being sold at the chief slamp store, I'm I'm buying. So fun conversation to have just as the immediate kind of backlash took place. Just um his market value will be established as we as we move forward here. But you know, we talked about Damian Williams and how mo in most cases for players like Damian Williams were cashing out because he was nothing and you got him for nothing and Almost a hundred percent of the time, I would say ring the register, but it's too fun to 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 ring the register for me right now with Damian Williams, and now this happens, and definitely not as fun as it once was. Sure. Well, you got five weeks here between free agency and the NFL draft, uh, and it all comes together. So if you have Damian Williams and you can go pick up Carlos Hyde to throw on your team for cheap, I don't mind doing that. And, you know, and then when there's between free agency and the draft and these rookies falling in line, like you said, the market's going to be set on a lot of guys 
and the market will is going to completely do a pretty much reset in the next five weeks with everything that goes on. It happens every off season. Yeah. All right. Well, fun little Carlos chit chat. Sure. You're the only one in a in a chair. Yeah. Crushing that chair too. Loving it. All right. Well, hamstrings about to blow. We're off excited about uh, getting getting this video thing started. I know that the, everyone listening on audio. You guys are like you, you're idiots. This is terrible, <laughs> terrible radio. But anyhow, nah, uh, nah. Let's close up shop. Yeah, let's get out of here. Saturday, about to go have some fun on a Saturday night. It's a freaking weekend, baby. Well, Let loose. Are we allowed to sing R. Kelly songs anymore? Ooh. Uh, that was a probably. good song back in the day, though. The toot, toot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Chappelle remix was... I'm going to roll in that body. Spot on. Yeah, well... Eh. What are you going to do? Chappelle really crushes, though. He does. Well, let's get out of here. Uh, if you're listening on any of your platforms of choice, we would love a review. That would yeah, be so holler at nice. us. Hit love us up you. with those reviews. You've been a listening lot of positivity for a while. on there. Ship over some more positivity. That's how we. <laughs> that's how we get by. Yeah, Ship it over. A, we get by with a little help from our friends. The more reviews, the more we pop up on other people's radar. That's that would be just so nice of you. If you haven't taken the time to do it, please do. If you have already, thank you so much. We're on all your platforms of choice: Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, iTunes. Hit us up on YouTube. I don't know. You might not see this particular video, but it's coming very soon. Oh yeah. And uh, be all up in your YouTube. Check that out. Hit subscribe. We upload a bunch of different videos and go check out the website, the FFDynasty.com. And uh, if you're looking for some extra content, head over to the Patreon. Got some articles going up on the FFDynasty.com. Yeah. Articles. Articles are about to be hot and hot and fresh like Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. Hot Hot now. now. Hot now. And if you don't live in the South, I'm sure you're probably not nearly as excited about that reference. They don't have Krispy Kreme up in the north. I mean, it's we just, didn't. We didn't. There's a Dunkin' Krispy Donuts Kreme. in every exit, though. Yeah, huh? we. It was Dunkin' Donuts, but nobody knows about a hot fresh sign up there. <sighs> mm. That Krispy Kreme, <sighs> sort of ass. It's for real. It was. Done. They had, there real. was like Krispy Kreme in the grocery store, like just like pre old ass Krispy. Yeah, you don't. That's not the same thing. No. Man, that hot fresh now. We live right next door to one. I'm about to. I'm about, I just moved in next door to a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> yeah. Jay Wayne just moved in a block away from me. So. <sighs> This is either going to be cool or the worst. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Don't go anywhere because I find you. <laughs> All right. Hit us up on Twitter at the FF Dynasty, at Dynasty Bitco, at IMC Myers, at J Wayne's World. Heck, check out over uh, the Patreons. It's a good time. Extra content. <laughs> Premium content. We'll if see anyone has a better word for content, hit us up. We, we're looking for one. We can't do. We're looking for a synonym. Can't say that too many more times. That uh, that's a good, throw up. It's a good synonym for content. <laughs> we're rambling here. We're out of here. We'll see you Peace. next time.